Morning, grade tens. Uh, it's Friday the 22nd, last day of the week. We inch ever closer to June 1st when we might actually get to see each other again. Um, I know I'm looking forward to it. I don't know about you. I will uh, do the key to the assignment to the work that I uh, went over yesterday. Um, not yesterday, Wednesday. Um, I know it says in your book that this is an, is an assignment, but I'm not going to do it as an assignment. Um, I'm just going to do the key now, mark your own, make sure you did it, um, and make sure you're able to do it. And if not, I would expect to see some of you at some of the meetings, but of course I won't, so no big deal. Um, so yeah, this is page 181 to 184 in the pre-dip book, and it is page 166 to 169 in the regular book. Um, after this unit, uh, we'll start, there's no test for it, we'll start on uh, systems of equations, probably. Okay, talk to you, well, I'm signing off. Uh, sorry, let's get down to it. So here we are on page 81, or page 166, and let's do the work. Remember, just mark your own. You were supposed to have this done already. Uh, I've got a slope. I've got a point. So that's point slope form, obviously. Y minus 1 equal 3. X minus 2. Next one. Again, oh my goodness, a slope and a point. Look at that. Y minus 4 equals negative 2 fifths x plus 1, because remember we do the opposite sign. This one's a little trickier. Some of you are going to say, oh, 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 intercept, I got slope intercept. You don't, because that's an x intercept. So that is really 3, 0. So again, you have a slope and a point. So that is y minus 0, which is just y, equals 2x minus 3. Now, that is technically point-slope form, but it's a little ugly. So some of you may do that and put it into slope-intercept form. That's cool, whatever you want. This one's tricky. This one, we do have a y-intercept, but we don't have a slope. Or do we? If my x-intercept is 3 and my y-intercept is 4, then isn't my slope negative 4 thirds? So I have a slope and a y-intercept, so I have y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 4. And oh, look again, slope, point, y minus 0 equals 3 fourths x minus 4. You can tidy that up if you really want. y equals 3 fourths x um, minus 3. Uh, slope, point, but you will notice this is a y-intercept because x is 0. So y equals negative 2x plus 5. x-intercept and slope. So an x-intercept, again, it's tricky. Right? So I think about the drawing. No, I don't need to think about the drawing. It's a point. Negative 2 thirds 0. So then I just plug that into my equation. y equals 5 sixths x plus 2 thirds. And then tidy it up if you want. y equals 5 sixths x plus 10 eighteenths. If you really want to tidy it up, you could take it into standard form. 
I mean uh, general form. In general form, you would just multiply this all by, uh, remember, 10 eighths is, uh, 10 eighteenths is 5 ninths. If you multiplied all of this by 18, because that's the common denominator, I mean the common multiple, you get 18y equaled um, 15x plus 10. So 15x minus 18y plus 10 would equal 0. You could go that far if you wanted to. And x-intercept of negative 5. Oops. x-intercept of negative 5. y-intercept of 2. So my slope is 2 fifths. So y equals 2 fifths x plus 2, not 12. Two perpendicular lines intersect on the y-axis. One line is this, what's the other line? So take that line, find its y-intercept. 2x plus 8 equals y. So this line has a slope of 2 and a y intercept of 8. The second line, which I'll deal with in red because there's two perpendicular lines, line 2 is perpendicular. So its slope is negative equals negative 1 half because I take this slope and I flip it and I change the sign. But if they intersect at the y-axis, they have the same y-intercept. So line 2 is negative 1 half x plus 8. The intersection of two perpendicular lines is that. So these two lines, a red line and a black line, hit right there and it's negative 1, negative 4. The black line is 2x plus y plus 6 equals 0, right? So y equals negative 2x plus 6. Sorry, not plus 6, 2x minus 6. Determine the equation of the other line. Well, the black line has a slope of negative 2, and it goes through that point. So isn't the black line, line 1, isn't that y plus 4 equals negative 2, x plus 1? And then line 2 is perpendicular to that. So lane line 2 is just y plus 4 flip it and change the sign, 1 half x plus 1. Draw a line, so A will be red. Draw a line through negative 3, 1, 2, 3, positive 2, 1, 2, with a slope of 2 fifths, up 2, right 5. There is line A. The blue one, through negative 2, negative 1, that is parallel. So up 2 over 2, 3, 4, 5. Parallel. And then in black, perpendicular through negative 2, negative 1. That is perpendicular. So that's up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and left 1, 2. Which graph? Well, it's got a negative slope, right? So it can't be B because B's got a positive slope. And it's got a y-intercept of positive 6. Can't be A. That one's got positive 6 and that one got positive 6. So I better check the slope. Down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 over 4. Well, that's not 3 quarters down one, 
two, three, four, five, six, and out eight. Six over eight, that is three quarters, so it must be D. Rewrite that in general form. I said I wouldn't do the joke again, so I'm not gonna do the joke again. So y equals one quarter x plus two. General form has no fractions, so I gotta multiply this side by four, which means I can multiply this side by four. Four y equals x plus eight. X has to be positive. X minus four y plus eight equals zero. D. Determine the slope intercept form of a line that passes through there. So there's my point on my line and is parallel to this line. Well, if it's parallel, it's got the same slope as this. So I'd better find that slope. Slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 0 minus minus 2 over 1 minus 9. 2 over negative 8, which is negative 1 quarter. So that's my slope. That's my point. So y minus 10 equals 1, negative 1 quarter, x minus 8. But I need in slope intercept form, so that means I isolate y. So the first thing I got to do is distribute negative one quarter x plus two because a quarter of eight is two then I just move that over y equals negative one quarter x plus twelve c so here's this line I want k I want to know what k is right there and it's perpendicular to this so this guy is, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So this guy, this guy is negative five fourths. But I want to know k that's perpendicular. So I can't use negative five fourths. I gotta use positive four fifths for this line. That is the slope. And then this is k minus 14 because y minus y and 27 minus 12. So 4 over 5 equals k minus 14 over 15. Cross multiply 60 equals 5k minus 70. Bring that minus 70 over 130 equals 5k. Divide by 5 and that is 26 equals K. And I think this is the last question. When graphed, what is that slope? Well, all you gotta do is get that in slope intercept form, which means isolate Y. Seven Y equals negative four X plus 10 y equals negative 4 sevenths x plus 10 sevenths. I only care about the slope, b. And there you go. Have a good weekend. Check that work over. If you haven't already done it, you should be honest and do it before you watch the key. This time I can sign off. Everyone try to have a good weekend. It looks like only one more week of this exclusively, and then you can come spend a day at school if you wish. Um, and uh, we'll see you then. I'm probably going to keep doing exactly what I'm doing here, but I'll do the videos at school. I don't know. I'll let you know when I know. Talk to you soon.